put some butter on it. Soon as I get home, fresh liquid steaming all up through the roof. We got a radiator, uh, a hole in the radiator hose. It must have came from rubbing on the pulley or something. Fresh hole in the radiator. First arrow with the Hellcat. Ain't that about a bitch. Could be worse. Had that fixed in no time. What's shaking besides your ass? Whenever somebody got pliers sitting in the under the hood of the car, that mean they on some premium. Some straight up bullshit. I actually caught it on film, but I was driving, uh, pulling through my gate, coming back home. And uh, I seen like, as if like a sprinkler system had hit my window with fluid on one, maybe like 10% of the windshield. And I was like, oh shit, that can't be right. So I uh, got home, noticed that it was steaming outside the whip. And you already know what that mean. We got a busted radiator hose. I went ahead and patched it up already uh, and put it in the garage. Of course, I'm not driving it nowhere, but to the dealership tomorrow. But this is what I'm dealing with, man. Got a busted radi upper radiator hose for rubbing on the pulley, which is right here. More like right here. Uh, it's barely any space between these two. So if you have a Hellcat, a Charger specifically, but even if you got a Challenger, go outside and check and make sure you got enough clearance in between your upper radiator hose and your pulley. Uh, and then just a little information about the hose. You cannot buy it at AutoZone. It has not been released to the public. So, of course, the only place you can get this hose is going to be Dodge. $48.10. Uh, the Dodge dealerships around me didn't have it, but it's one in Katy, Texas, which is about 30 miles from me. They do have the hose, but unfortunately, this happened to me on a Saturday afternoon. And, of course, the service and sales department is closed until Monday, so I'm stuck. I'm gonna hop in that good old piece of shit over there, the infamous Chrysler 200 tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go pick this hose up and I am going to show the installation of replacing this hose on a 2016 Charger Hellcat. So far right now, I'm just working on getting the hose off. Of course, when you get the hose off, it's gonna be some fluids leaking around. I'm gonna have to take this sucker and clean the engine. Uh, I actually haven't got a chance to clean the engine since I got it. So I'm gonna finally go ahead and clean the engine when I got it back up and running, but it's got these funny looking clamps right here on there. I just used some pliers, tightened them, and then pulled it back. And then the one down here, it looks like the traditional screw method uh, clamp. I'm gonna take the hose off today and then tomorrow I'm just gonna wake up and go and get a new hose from Katie for $48.10. I tried to, tried to rig me up some. I went to AutoZone yesterday. They let me in the back just seeing if I could get something and cut it or if they had a flex, a flex hose. If you bust your upper radiator hose, you are going to Dodge, period. Dodge knew what they was doing. $48.10. You're not going nowhere else to get it. But I'm going to walk you guys through the process of swapping this hose out. It looks fairly simple. I'm not really a mechanic. Ain't never tried to be a mechanic, but I'll be damned if I pay somebody to change a hose. Now, this hose right here, I got the clamp off of it. But this right here, this thing is on. This shit is tighter than some booty cheeks, dog. I kid you not. Pause. No homo. This shit is tight as hell, so I'm about to figure out how to uh, snatch this thing off. And as soon as I figure it out, I'm going to show y'all. Make it easy. You got it out? Splish splash. Oh, this boy is a beast, a beast in the streets. All right, so when y'all, if this ever happened to y'all, if it ain't happened to y'all, check the placement of your upper radiator hose next to that pulley, cause I can't be the only one. But it's gonna be a bitch to get off. But you can get it off, daddy, damn. What is that? This look like a spring in that motherfucker. It is. Keep your clamps. Always keep your clamps. The other spring, I mean, the other hose is going to come with whatever this is already on it. Okay. That's all it is. I'm on my way to Heffman Dodge to pick up the upper radiator hose. My girlfriend's car was on E. I put $10 in it and damn near got a half a tank. Damn, daddy! Ain't that about a bitch. Yeah, but I'm 15.9 miles away from Heffman Dodge and Katie, and it says that it's going to take me approximately 40 minutes. See you when I get there. Just got up the Dodge Chrysler and Jeep. 
pick up this upper radiator hose. But this GoPro about to go in my pocket. I'm not like these other YouTubers. I ain't got that comfortable yet. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that comfortable one day for y'all. But it won't be today. I'm the genius that didn't bring the original hose with me. But I'm guessing that's it. It's a spring inside. Mine was popping out on the old one. And the price for this upper radiator hose was fifty-two dollars and seven cents for a freaking forty cent hose. Killing the game. All right, what's up, Big Unk? We are back. Just place the hose back, back into the proper spot. Very simple, popped it on. It came with clips already. All I gotta do is take some pliers and pull them up and they'll already be tensed up, which is beautiful. Oh, sucker spring popped all out of it. The other spring was inside of it, but it was in there nice and neat. It was not sticking out. So, back in action, baby. All I gotta do now is get me some coolant and uh, clean the engine off. You know, we're not about to leave the engine dirty. You know, all that liquid busting around all down at the bottom and stuff. I'm about to clean that. That ain't, we ain't about to ride out like that, you hip. And just like that, we are done. Use the pliers, remove the little clips. Back in action, baby. Moral of this story, go and check and see your placement of your upper radiator hose next to that pulley. Mine is still super close, but it looks like that other radiator hose has swelled more. And I'm pretty sure this one will do it over time, but I will keep an eye on it. But once it once it starts to uh, tear through this, your hose is uh, exposed and next in line. like cleaning the engine but when they make a mess you got to get it man make a mess you got to get it test my luck all right since we throwing the how much did you pay party of course you need some coolant the coolant for my hellcat was uh 12.98 and i got the press down which dog in there uh said that is the best uh i guess he had in the store for what it was it's pre-mixed and it was 